speak for too long, and then Susie will keep you in check, I'm sure. But um, and uh, thank you for saying that. And it is a real honour for me to be here. I attended last year's um, a, a, a excellent event, and it's a real honour to be back again this year. And I just want to start by thanking Richard and Susie for all that they do and how much effort they put into this. You know, it's been The work that they are doing is really good. The resources are excellent, you know. So Richard is absolutely right. When people say there are resources out there, they just have to go on the website because there's lots of excellent resources that they can use. So we should all keep uh, promoting the resources. And also, you know, Richard and Susie have been advocates for a long time. Uh, you know, as long as I've been in the union and teaching, I've been able to talk to Richard about the work that he's doing and get help from him and support when I've been doing stuff in my area. So, you know, they have been lifelong campaigners around this issue and it's very important. Um, in terms of the National Union of Teachers section of the National Education Union, uh, we fully support the work that UK Disability History Month does. We send out information, we promote uh, what they, uh, the work that, that is happening, and we do lots of work on social media. And Judy, one of our staff members, was here. I don't know if she still is here. Uh, but she has done a lot of work in this area, and we have really good, hard-working staff members in our headquarters that are absolutely committed um, to developing this work. But, you know, we know, as we've heard already, um, that the government cuts are having a massive impact on disabled people. Um, and there are shocking headlines when you read the newspapers, you know, UK cuts have created a human catastrophe, catastrophe for disabled people. How shocking that in one of the richest countries in the world, we have a government that's cutting things and creating a human catastrophe for a set of people. Um, and there are stories almost on a daily basis about the impact of those cuts. But we also know that school funding cuts are having a significant impact on disabled young people in our schools. You know, tonight's um, talk is about art. Arts are being slashed in our schools. You know, those subjects are going because of the cuts that are happening. But, but worse than that, support for disabled young people in our schools is being taken away. Uh, and if you search, if you just do a search in Google of disabled um, children or disabled young people and cuts, there, there is headline after headline after headline about school transport being taken away, parents having to give up work because they, the hours that the children are in school are being cut, um, and, and about support staff being taken out of our schools for these young people. And I think that that is shameful. It's an absolute disgrace. So the work we're doing, pushing school funding, um, is very important um, from my point of view in terms of That, you know, it's a real, you know, very humbled to be on a panel and with people who have done such excellent work and I'm very in awe of the artwork we've just heard about and the previous contributions. But I would end with saying this really, I was at um, a conference, our Disabled Teachers Conference a few weeks ago and a, a member of the audience said that we need to do more work in schools uh, about the social model of disability. And I, and I stood up and I said, actually, we need to start doing work in schools where the social model of disability, because actually, uh, there is very little done about this now, and it's a real concern for me. I trained as a teacher in 1986, and I had training about the social model of disability at that time. That was very unusual, I have to tell you, up and down the country, but I, uh, the authority I trained in was quite progressive and was very keen to promote the social model of disability at that point. But if I talk to teachers that train now, they have nothing. So our educators are going into schools without information about this. But worse than that, you know, our young people aren't learning about it and aren't learning about the, you know, the, the positive work that could happen if we were doing more about it. So one of the things that I will be taking back to the union is to, to put some pressure on to do more work around this area. Uh, because we need, you know, it's our job to spread the word and to ensure that our society is truly inclusive because the, the you know, the barriers to disabled people are created. They're not, you know, they're created by our government, by the culture that we live in, and they are things that can be changed, and that is something that we all have a duty to fight for. So thank you very much for inviting me to speak. You have our full support, as you know, and I will continue to do all I can to campaign. Thanks very much.